What is up everybody? Brandon here from the 7.3 Garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to access the tunes from your tuner via the uh, Hydroship software. I'm also going to be showing you uh, how to locate the information on the PCM so that way you can send that information over to your tuner of your choice and they can get your tunes over to you. And uh, also going to explain some tips and tricks going along the way and as well as navigating through the program itself. Let's get started. So the best way to do this, go ahead and open up your camera phone. Make sure your flash is on. And this is the same procedure for both the OBS and the Super Duty trucks. Like I said earlier, the code is located on the inside of the PCM here that faces the firewall. Basically, go ahead and reach on down there with your camera phone as best you can. There is sometimes there's some stuff in your way. It's going to fight me, of course. Basically, you just want to get it right in the best spot as, as you think you can get it. That may be the best one yet. There we go. The more you do this, the better you get at it. It may take you a couple of different shots, but there you can see this is your uh, four-digit code here that the tuner is going to need. This is your PCM family. For each series truck, I believe it's every couple of years, they did change it up. Uh, the manual trucks, the ZF5, ZF6 series trucks are going to have a different code than the automatic trucks. Uh, but that information is all on the website, especially if you're going through Jelly Boat Performance. Uh, Brian will just need the four-digit code there as well as the six-digit code as well I believe is something else that he requires. It's been quite some time since I've uh, ordered tunes from him But that's the information they're gonna be looking for. This is the same exact procedure that you're gonna have to do for the Super Duty trucks Same thing. The only difference is the way that they remove the Super Duty trucks Take the PCM out through the cab and I think they're a little bit easier in my opinion I've done a couple of those and with the OBS trucks they do have to pull out through the firewall, and sometimes you got to loosen up that uh, that fender well in here uh, to give you some room to get it out. But the procedure is exactly the same for both trucks, but uh, that will definitely help you get that information out to the tuner so they know what series of PCM to uh, apply the tunes to or, or what category they need to be in. So with that being said, and that's all done, once you have that information, I'm gonna show you how to take the tunes that are emailed to you and get them onto the chip itself. All right guys, so at this point, you should have your chip installed and plugged in. Uh, two things are gonna have to happen on the computer. You're gonna wanna have your Hydro Flash program opened up, uh, as well as your email, whatever email platform you use. I happen to use Gmail, uh, and I do have both of mine up already. So once you go ahead and plug in your chip to the uh, what I call lightning cable into the uh, into the truck and basically what's going to happen is your programmer is actually or the uh, selector switch is going to turn on to what the last tune position was and then on the screen itself you're actually going to see all of the calibrations that are currently on the chip I do have a lot of variations here just like to play around and do some testing so these are all going to be written by the tuner and these will be for your truck so the best way that I've found to get these onto your truck or get these over is you want to go ahead and open up your email. Uh, this is again, uh, this is how Brian from Jelly Boat Performance does all his business. So basically, here's all the tunes that they come in the attachments on the files. You basically want to go ahead and hit download. And once that downloads, um, it's going to save it to the most recent downloads here. This is uh, Windows 10 here, um, you know, Microsoft program. So this is what I'm used to using. I've never done this through a Mac system, but this has uh, always worked the best for me. So when you want to go ahead and calibrate, as you can see here, the 13, 14, 15 positions have uh, blanks on them. There's no tunes in there. So basically, the best way to do this is you hit this little file button here. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a browse folder. Once that browse folder opens up, I usually go right to, uh, apologize for the computer, usually goes right to downloads. If it doesn't automatically pull up, just go ahead and hit downloads. Here's the new tune that we just downloaded, TDE1 the Extreme Street Sports Shift. We'll go ahead and press open. And basically what that's gonna do is put the, the tune right on here. At this point, you're not done yet. Uh, let's say, for example, this is the only tune you wanna do. The button right next to it, it says program this calibration to the memory, so we'll go ahead and do that. And you'll see the programming calibrations is gonna go ahead and come up on the screen. Uh, the other way to do this, let's say you get six new revisions or you get six new tunes from a, from a different tuner. Instead of doing this one by one, you can go ahead and do the same procedure with each file. Press that file button, go ahead and, and browse, open all those files in the position that you desire. And you can go ahead and hit the, this program button on the left side and that is gonna download every single new tune to the chip that you want. This has successfully been 
uh, programmed, and then it also shows down here on the bottom screen, it says program has been completed success successfully. So that at that point in time, you're ready to go. I'll usually just go ahead and, and unplug my computer, and I will uh, turn the turn the truck on to the uh, actual tune file or the new tune file to make sure everything is good, make sure the file isn't corrupt for any reason, and uh, just go from there. If you would decide that you want to print any of this out, uh, Hydra is nice enough to have a calibration print list. Uh, if you have a printer, wireless, or connected, you can go ahead and press the print calibration list, and this will nicely print up basically this screen here of each position and what's in there. So this is something that you can change anytime you want. If you need to delete a tune, you just go ahead and press the X while the truck is plugged in, and it will go ahead and delete that tune from the file itself. Actually, this one I've been wanting to get rid of anyways. So that's basically it with that. That's it for